I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to bake asparagus. Uh, it's really simple. All you're going to need is your cleaned, ready-to-go asparagus. Um, you will need some sort of cooking or baking sheet, and I've covered mine in tin foil uh, for easy cleanup. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but it certainly makes cleanup a little bit easier. I have a Ziploc bag here. You could also just use um, any sort of rectangular container that you want. This is what we're going to use to coat the asparagus. Some olive oil and then salt and pepper to taste. So we're going to start by putting the asparagus in our Ziploc bag. And behind us, our oven has been preheating at 400 degrees, so it's going to be ready to go as soon as we are. And. We just want this uh, olive oil to coat the asparagus. We don't want it to like totally drown in it or get soggy. We just want a little bit. Um, conversely, you could also use butter if you prefer. You could do a little bit of melted butter um, in here, whatever your heart desires. And if you're, you know, watching your figure and really want to like be careful about the calorie count if you're concerned about that, you could even just use a little spray um, of olive oil if you wanted. So I'm not going to use a tremendous amount, but. I am going to use enough to just coat, and that was a good, healthy um, capful there. So I'm going to do that, just shake it, shake it, shake it around, and then I'm going to add in my salt and pepper now because I want both sides to get coated, um, and I will not be flipping over my asparagus uh, while it's baking. So push the bag down like this so that the salt and pepper doesn't just get all stuck on the sides. Just do a little bit. And you don't have to add salt and pepper if you don't want to. I think it's nice, um, especially with the olive oil, it helps to bring out some flavor. But again, as with anything with cooking with a recipe, adapt it to your needs and your taste buds. So just a little bit, little bit, little bit. And then I'm gonna shake this one more time to make sure the salt and pepper coats completely. Shake, shake, shake. Perfect. So I don't have a ton of like oil residue. It's just nicely coated and bathed. Perfect. Now I'm going to lay it out on the baking sheet, and I'm not going to crowd it. I'm going to give each asparagus spear plenty of room to cook. Just lay it like this. Perfect, perfect. And then I'm going to pop it in the oven um, for 15 to 20 minutes, and then it will be all nice and baked and ready to go. So we're going to pop it in the oven, and we'll be right back. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and my asparagus is ready to go. It's nice and bright green. Um, there's a little bit of like that cooked yummy brownness happening. I mean, I gave it the fork test and it went right in, so I know I'm ready to go. So I shut out the oven. Let's pull out our asparagus now. It smells amazing. Um, and as you can see, the foil gets a little messy. It's a little hot. It gets a little messy from obviously the olive oil and it cooks. And so, as I said, it just makes for easier cleanup and less work for you to do after. But if you love to scrub a pan, then by all means, omit the tin foil. Um, so here we have it. You see just the nice brown yumminess. It's, it's speckled with pepper. It looks totally tasty. I can't wait to eat this. Um, it'll be delicious either on its own or as a great side dish uh, to a main dish. And there you have it. That's how you bake asparagus. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.